Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. So in this video, we are going to learn how to send Outlook email on Google Forms response. So here I've created a lead form in my Google Forms and here in this case I want whenever a new response is received, automatically a mail should be sent to that lead. So here to build this connection, I need to connect these applications using an automation software named as Pabli Connect. So here Pabli Connect works on two principles that are trigger and action. So here our trigger application will be Google Forms and our action application will be Microsoft Office 365. So to learn this process step by step, let me take you to my screen. Welcome to my screen. So here you can see the form which I've created using Google Forms with the name contact information through which I'm receiving some new queries. So here in this case, I want whenever a new form submission is made in this form, automatically a successful form submission mail should be sent to that lead. So here to build this connection, I need to connect my Google Forms with my Microsoft Office 365 account. And here to automate this entire process, I'm going to use an automation software named as Pabli Connect. This is the homepage of Pabli Connect and you can visit this page by simply browsing for the URL pabli.com slash connect. Here you can see two options that are sign in and sign up free. If you're a new user, click on sign up free and get 300 tasks every month to explore the software. And if you're an existing user, click on sign in. Here I'm an existing user, so I'm clicking on sign in. Now after signing in here, you can see all Pabli apps window where you can see all the applications of Pabli. Here to connect my applications, I'm going to use Pabli Connect. This is the dashboard of Pabli Connect and here to build my connection, I need to create a workflow first. So for that, I'm going to click on this create workflow button that is given on the top right corner. Now here in this create workflow dialog box, I have to give a name to my workflow. So here I'm going to give the name as send Outlook email on Google Forms submission. And here I'm going to select my folder as automations. You can select your folder as per your need. Also, you can create multiple folders to save your workflows accordingly. And now here to learn how to create a new folder in Pabli Connect, you have to click on this learn more link. And by doing this, it will take you to our forum window. And here in this window, you can see all the instructions to that how to create a folder in Pabli Connect. So moving back to my dashboard and here to create a new workflow, I'm going to click on this create button. Now here in this workflow window, you can see we have successfully created a workflow with the name sent Outlook email on Google Forms submission. And here you can see two most important principles of an automation process that are trigger and action. Where trigger says when this happens and action says do this. That means action is a response to it's a trigger. Your automation can have a single trigger but multiple action steps. Now let's begin with our automation by simply setting up a trigger. So here I'm going to select my trigger application as Google Forms and my trigger event as new response received so that whenever a new response is received in my Google Forms, automatically that response should be captured by Pabli Connect 2. And now here you can see we have received a webhook URL. That means we will use this webhook URL to connect our Google Forms with Pabli Connect. So here following the instructions given below, here I've already logged in in my Google Forms account and this is the form which I've created. And here in my form I have taken some fields such as name, email and phone number. So here in your Google Form, you have to make sure that your form's last field is a required field. So it's a necessary step because by doing this, the response will be captured till the last field. And after turning this required button on, you have to select a destination for your Google Forms responses. That means you have to select a particular destination where all your Google Forms responses should be stored. So for that, we are going to click on this responses. And from here, you have to click on the three dots. And here you can see we have received the option for select destination for responses. So here I'm going to select this. And here you can see it is asking for two options that are create a new spreadsheet and select existing spreadsheet. So here I'm going to connect my Google form with my Google Sheets so that whenever a new response is received in my Google form, automatically that response should be stored in my Google Sheets too. So for that, I'm going to create a new spreadsheet. Here it is linked to sheets. So here I'm going to click on this view in sheets. 
and here you can see it has successfully created a new spreadsheet with the name contact information responses and here you can see we have received the similar fields from our google forms that are name email and phone number so here to check this connection let's do a test submission in a google form by submitting a test response so for that let me take you back to my form here i'm going to click on this preview option and here i'm going to enter some details and do a test submission so here for the name i'm going to enter the name as dummy user email as dummy at the rate pabletutes.com and a random phone number now here after entering all these details here i'm going to click on this submit and here you can see it says thanks for submitting your contact info so now let's go and check our google sheets and here you can see we have successfully received a response here where we have received the timestamp name as dummy user email as dummy at the rate pabletutes.com and a random phone number so with this we have successfully connected our google forms with our google sheets and now what we are going to do is we are going to connect this google sheet with public connect so that whenever a new response is received here automatically that response will be captured in public connect so for building this connection what we are going to do is that we are going to click on this extensions and from here you have to select addons and under addons you have to select get addons now here in google workspace marketplace you have to search for the addon that is public connect webhooks and then you have to install this addon in your google sheets so that you can connect this google sheet with public connect so here after installing this addon you have to follow the same steps now here after installing that addon you have to click on this extensions again and then you will be able to see a option that is public connect webhooks here now from here you have to click on this initial setup and here on the initial setup you can see we have received two options that are webhook url and trigger column so here to get this webhook url let me take you back to pabli window and here i'm going to copy this webhook url moving back to google sheets and here i'm going to enter the webhook url now here after entering the webhook url here it is asking for trigger column so the trigger column will be a final data column on which if the data is added the whole of that row data will be sent to webhook url so here you can see my last data column is column d so here my trigger column will be column d now here after entering this webhook url and trigger column here i'm going to click on the submit and here you can see it says setup configured successfully uh, so now i'm going to send a test data and here you can see it says test data sent successfully so moving back and now after setting up this webhook url you have to follow another very important step that is you have to click on this extensions and from here you have to select public connect webhooks again and from here you have to turn on this send on event so here by doing this public connect will receive the new responses easily so here now let's check that and here you can see we have successfully turned that on so now let's move back to public connect and here you can see we have successfully received a response here where we have received the phone number name and email so with this we have successfully set up our trigger step now let's move to action step and here i'm going to select my action application as microsoft office 365 and my action event is sent mail so that whenever a new response is received in my google forms automatically a successful form submission mail should be sent to that lead and now to connect my microsoft office 365 account with pabli connect here i'm going to click on this connect here to build a new connection i'm going to select add new connection if your microsoft office 365 account is already connected with pabli connect then you can click on select existing connection and now here to build a new connection i'm going to click on this connect with microsoft office and here it is asking me for a permission so here i'm going to select this accept and give access to pabli as your data is secured with pabli and authorization successful so now here after building a successful connection moving forward and now here it is asking me to enter the subject so here i'm going to enter the mail subject as successful form submission moving forward here i'm going to select the content type as plain text and now here it is asking me to enter the body content so basically here i need to enter the body content of the mail which i want to send to my lead so here i'm going to enter the body content so this is the body content which i want to send which says dear recipient's name i hope this email finds you well i am delighted to inform you that we have received your recent lead form submission thank you for expressing interest in era skin care your inquiry is invaluable to us and we are eager to explore how we can best assist you 
Our team is already reviewing the details you provided and we are committed to delivering a tailored solution that meets your needs. Rest assured, we will reach out to you shortly and discuss your requirements further and provide you with any additional information you may need. In the meantime, if you have any questions or require immediate assistance, please feel free to contact us directly at a number. Once again, thank you for considering our products. Looking forward to connect with you soon. Warm regards, Jesse Matthew Lead Manager, Era Skin Care. So this is the body content and here in the place of recipient's name, I am going to map the recipient's name. So here mapping data means insert data from previous step. That means here I will map the data from the response I have received in my Google Forms. Mappings makes our text dynamic so that whenever a new response is received in my Google Forms, automatically this previously existing detail will be updated with the new one. So here I am going to map the recipient's name. So now here I am done entering the body content so moving forward and now here it is asking me for two recipients. So here I need to enter the recipient's email address. So again for that I am going to map the recipient's address. So here I've mapped the email address and with this I have successfully entered all the required data and now I'm going to click on the save and send test request. And here you can see we have received a successful response. So now let's go and check our mail. And here you can see we have successfully received a mail here where the subject is successful form submission and the body as dear dummy user I hope this email finds you well. I am delighted to inform you that we have received your recent lead form submission. Thank you for expressing interest in ERA Skin Care. Your inquiry is invaluable to us and we are eager to explore how we can best assist you. Our team is already reviewing the details you provided and we are committed to delivering a tailored solution that meets your needs. Rest assured, we will reach out to you shortly to discuss your requirements further and provide you with any additional information you may need. In the meantime, if you have any questions or require immediate assistance, please feel free to contact us directly at a number. Once again, thank you for considering our products. Looking forward to connect with you soon. Warm regards, Jesse Matthew, Lead Manager, ERA Skin Care. So with this, we have successfully set up our automation. Now let's test our automation with a real-time example and to test our automation, we need to generate another test response in our form. So for that, let me take you back to my form. And here I'm going to enter another dummy data and do a test submission. So here for the name, I'm going to enter the name as test user, email as test at the rate and a random phone number. And then after entering all the required data here, I'm going to click on the submit. And here you can see it says, thanks for submitting your contact info. So now let's go and check our mail. And here you can see we have received another successful mail with the same email subject such as successful form submission and the same email body with the name dear test user. So with this we have successfully tested our automation. Now let me summarize this whole video for you. So here we have taken our trigger as Google Forms and our action as Microsoft Office 365. So that whenever a new response is received in my Google Forms, automatically a successful form submission mail should be sent to that lead using Microsoft Office 365. If you want to use the same workflow, then you can find the clone link in the description box below. I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Not only these applications, you can integrate many other applications with Pabli Connect. If you have any doubt, you can contact us on support at zaritpabli.com. If you have any query, you can contact us on forum.pabli.com. And if you have any pricing related issue, then you can contact us on www.pabli.com. If you liked the video, please subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends.